When we live in a society which blames us and says that we are the expensive ones, we are the problems, it is a society that is talking about the useless eater. I enjoyed feminism in London last year. This one I, I came into by accident actually, I hadn't planned to, um, but I'm really glad I did as I feel I've been to two workshops today and I took far more from this one than the one before. Liberation from one group must not be the expense of another group, which is why solidarity is hugely important and why constantly I am disappointed by the lack of it amongst the women's movement. Sisters of Freedom is a collective cooperative of disabled women and we, uh, we realise there's a gap between uh, dis the disability movement disability community and women's movement and we're here to sort of try and uh, bridge the gap. So in the end we just have this panel and it's a start. I was informed this was the first ever disabled feminism panel at this conference and I was a little bit surprised by that but also I thought how lovely it was that it finally happened. Austerity, I think, is one of the key issues affecting disabled women in Britain right now. The um, House of Commons Library this year calculated that 85% of all the cuts so far have predominantly hit women in this country. Severely disabled people in poverty um, have been hit 18 times harder than the average citizen. So obviously if you're a woman who is also severely disabled, and statistically more likely to be in poverty. That means you're being hit on multiple fronts. When you talk about disabled people, they don't talk about disabled women's issues. And when you talk about women, you know, in the sort of general, the mainstream feminists, they don't talk about us at all. One of the remarks that Becca made was, was actually having to argue to get through the door in itself is so exhausting. You haven't got the energy to actually argue for the real reason why you're in the room. The only real way to change anything is when people start talking about it. That is literally the only way that anything has ever happened. A bit of old school solidarity an organisation. I thought the speakers were all really, really good. They had a sense of humour and they also were very clear in explaining why feminism is a kind of an exclusive issue for disabled people, I feel, and it can't just be blanketed over just feminism as it is. We need to have specific uh, discussions and sharing of ideas for people who are disabled. If we start at that base point that everybody has the right to participate in whatever we're organising on an equal basis, we then put into place the things that make it possible for disabled women to, to participate. That would make a huge difference. To see it, not to see it as a perk, not to see it as a frill, not to see it as an add-on, not to see it as an expense, but to see it as necessary for the thing to happen. Yeah.